All right, turn now to the tropics. It's been an active hurricane season for the Gulf. Five of the seven named storms have passed through the Gulf of Mexico. Several of these storms also intensified when they entered the Gulf of Mexico. So here, here with more on that climate change and how it impacts those strongest storms is ABC 13 meteorologist Elise Smith. Good evening. Yes, one of the key ingredients for rapid intensification is very warm water and how deep that water extends below the surface of the of the ocean. And one result of our global climate warming is those warmer than normal water temperatures in the Atlantic, Caribbean and Gulf of Mexico. And our partners at Climate Central show that it's not just the rapid intensification process that's becoming more prevalent, but the extreme version. Take a look at this. This graphic shows the number of named storms that have increased by double the bare minimum of rapid intensification. So that's increasing by 58 miles per hour or more within a 24 hour period, not 35. And there is a clear distinction too within the past two decades for this trend. Yet researchers agree that the science, this science should not overshadow the impacts that hurricanes bring and the threats they can pose. The one thing, though, I emphasize with regards to climate change is that it's really the hazards of, of, of hurricanes that matter, particularly the water hazards. Obviously, rapid intensification relates to how the winds increase drastically over a short time, but the, the hazards that really climate change affects are, are the water hazards, the storm surge because of sea level rise, uh, the fact that a warmer atmosphere holds more water vapor. Hurricanes are, are, are basically very effective at wringing all that water vapor out into, into rainfall. That's something we know all too well from Hurricane Harvey. And Harvey went from a tropical depression to a major hurricane within 48 hours. And studies have linked climate change to the amount of rain that fell during Harvey here in southeast Texas. And while conditions that favor rapid intensification, yes, they could become more prevalent in the decades to come. Remember, it's never a guarantee that every single storm during hurricane season will rapidly intensify.